Hi there, and welcome back to Chemistry 1032 instructional videos. I am your professor, Dr. Russell Betts, and I'll be guiding you through chapter two, section two, atomic number and mass number. Now, when you look at the periodic table, you will see squares, and every square represents an element. In that square, of course, you find the atomic symbol, but there's also a number that's usually written on top of the symbol. It's either sometimes it's to the left, sometimes it's to the right, sometimes it's in the center, but usually it's on top. Now the atomic number, which is what it's called, goes in numeratical order on the periodic table. It starts at number one in the top left-hand corner, goes to number two in the top right-hand corner, three, four, five, six, and so on. It's sequential, numeratical order, okay? So that's how you identify an atomic number. Now the atomic number is always a whole number, and it represents the number of protons in an atom, okay, or an ion. Now the atomic number is the number of protons. It's the number of protons. Atomic number equals number of protons. One more time. Atomic number, protons. Now, if I have an atom of sodium, it has atomic number 11. Sodium has 11 protons. Okay, sodium has 11 protons. Now what happens if I took away a proton? All of a sudden now I have 10 protons. Well, I'm no longer sodium. If I had 10 protons, 10 protons, if you look at the periodic table, you'll find the atomic number 10, that's neon, right, very good. If I happen to give sodium another proton, somehow it magically got another proton, it would no longer be sodium, it would be magnesium, atomic number 12. So the number of protons is equal to the atomic number, which tells me what atom I'm dealing with. Now, let's take a look at this example. A carbon atom has the atomic number of six. That means it contains six protons. Easy enough, right? The atomic number of carbon is six, contains six protons. Now, here's a fun fact. Atoms are neutral. They have no charge at all zero electric charge. So what does that mean? That means the number of electrons must equal the number of protons. So let's write that down. Number of protons equals the number of electrons in an atom. Oops, am I covering up? No. In an atom. The number of protons equals the number of electrons in an atom. Now that's pretty cool, okay? So carbon atoms contain six electrons and six protons. Because remember, atoms are neutral. The protons equal electrons. Atomic number and mass number. All right. Mass number. Mass number is the number of neutrons and the number of protons. Okay? Mass number is the number of neutrons and the number of protons in an atom. That's called the mass number. Number of protons, number of neutrons. So quite literally, a mass number is the number of particles in a nucleus. Now that's pretty cool. It's the number of particles in a nucleus. Now, here is a way it's uh, noted, or it's uh, symbolic, symbolic notation, they call it. This number here, which is sub, uh, sorry, uh, superscripted to the left of the atomic symbol, is always a mass number. So if you see a, uh, a symbol, say you see um, an A23, that's a mass number. Say you have carbon-14, that's a mass number. Say you had um, helium-4, that's a mass number. These are all mass numbers. Superscripted to the left of the atomic symbol is a mass number. Now here, this would be 11, because these are atomic numbers, subscripted to the left. They're not always written in. A lot of times they are, a lot of times they're not. Um, if they're not written in, the atomic number, you can always go to the periodic table and get it, because you know the atomic symbol. So you just look at the periodic table, find carbon, you'll find carbon is six. Sodium has 11 protons, sodium is atomic number 11. 
Carbon is six. Helium is two. Atomic number two. Okay? And that's how these symbols work. These are mass numbers, and a mass number is the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. You might want to write that down. All right, so we'll leave it here. We'll end the video here. We'll start up again in section 2.3 with another video. All right, so good luck and good chemistry.